Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the Weekly Contest 263, Symbol Bank System. So I actually ended up taking uh, a good amount of time on this one. There are people who did it faster. I probably could have done it faster. But I think I was just being very, very careful um, about off by ones because there are just a lot of... This is one of those problems where you have done enough programming or you've been either competitive or just regular programming. If you have done enough of it... Um, you know, you just kind of recognize that, eh, or at least for me anyway, because this is maybe my arch nemesis, is that, hey, Larry, slow down, because you might make, a, there are a lot of places to make mistakes, and you might miss a condition, and that'll cost you five minutes of penalty, so slow down, you know, here and there, and do it correctly the first time. So that's basically um, the, my advice for this one, because I don't think there's anything that tricky. It's just about finding all the rules. You can implement everything in an in a array and everything, so so there's nothing really that tricky. Uh, we'll go over my code, and I don't even think there's anything that interesting. But yeah, um, but but if you want to talk about this one or other problems, come hang out with me on my Discord and with a lot of fun, smart people who who, who they're just fun and smart and they they we all nerds loving contests and stuff like that but yeah um also hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so, yeah, so without further ado i'm just gonna go over my code because i don't know i assume that you've already read this problem and it's really i don't know it's a weird problem oh uh, it's not a weird problem it's it's a very practical problem but it's a weird really competitive problem but maybe for q2 it's probably a good amount of answer um well, the other thing is that you might have to be super careful about your your primitive usage, uh, though in Python, I do not, so I did not. But yeah, but basically here we keep track of the balance. I, I just did this for for whatever. I don't even think this is necessary per se, because um, you could just do it in line. Um, I made everything uh, zero based because the input is one base. That's also one potential place for er error. Um, I would also say two things. One is that um, with these kind of data structure e problems, I would recommend try to do them as cleanly as possible. Um, and I would, and I say that because this code that I'm doing here is not very clean in a Pythonic way. There are a couple of things that I would have done if I could have done, um, which is, or because because so what you're seeing now is contest code, right? And in contest code, I am optimizing um, for for submission speed, right? So I'm trying to get it done as soon as possible. So there are some things that I would have cleaned up, and I'm going to talk about some of these, um, and you can kind of clean it up if you like. But for example, I might have a helper function checking the bounds, and then another helper function help uh, checking the balance. And actually, one thing that is both cool and magical and also sometimes scary about Python is that you can actually put these kind of checks in a decorator. Um, and if you do, then <clears throat> if you did, then that would actually have been uh, would make your code a lot cleaner because then now you let's say you have a decorator that changes this to zero index, and you have a decorator that bound check this. Then in theory, all you have to do with this particular code is just return, uh, uh you know, uh, I mean, I'm not writing this in a fully out kind of way, but but imagine you have just like uh, check account one you know you have check account two i don't even think this is the right syntax it's been too long since i've done it but but you can you know do something like this um and and let's say that you did something like that and maybe like you know zero index or something like that um let's say you have something like that then in theory you could convert your code to something like this and you don't even have to return anything and it'll just do the bounce for you because you just return force when all these are bound checked, right? So, so um, of course you have to implement these functions, but but that's where if you know that's where if I had infinite time or maybe not infinite, just like an extra hour or something like that, and I have time to Google or something uh, the correct syntax. This is maybe roughly what I would have considered. Um, yeah, uh, and because of that, you can also imagine that this is just this, you know, and this is just this, right? And that would be like. Obviously, uh, uh, I mean, obviously, we have to also add in the decorator. Um, so you would have to add something like account, uh, check balance, and then here, just check account, right? And that's basically how I would 
I d obviously I didn't implement these and I have to make sure my syntax is right. So if you're a Python master, you may be like, oh, Larry is doing something funky. Um, you're probably right. But, but I'm just saying th this is the idea of things that I could, do, that I maybe would do, right? Oh, I also actually forgot this one for these two, but you get the idea. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, what else is there to say? So after that, it's just about being careful, right? And that's where these checks are, are doing. You you need just need to check that the, the accounts are within bounds, meaning that we have a have an account here, and also check the balance, which is that we have to check um, that we have an, enough money in that account. That's basically all I have. I don't really have much to say about this one because if you look at it, this one now that we abstracted some of this bad, uh, cleaner code away, this is pretty straightforward, right? Like I mean. I don't know. This is just literally in in a in an array add and subtract numbers. So so I don't have much to say. This these are all constant time. Everything is constant except for the constructor, which is linear because well, you I, I guess it depends how you want to say it because you could say that we're technically copying the the reference. Then maybe that's that's constant, but maybe you would say that you you should probably copy a copy of it instead of using that reference. So technically it's linear. I don't know how you want to say it. It's fine. But yeah, but that's all I have for this one. You could watch me solve it live during the contest. Next. Uh, oh, before I do that, let me undo some of this so that you could see my actual contest code. Uh, so yeah, so you could see that this is way messier, but but just so that you can kind of have something to look at as an AC code, AC being accepted. Anyway, that's all I have. You could watch me live so during the you, you could watch me live during the contest. Next. So easy to make a typo. <sighs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, he- thanks for thanks for watching it up to now. Uh, st- yeah, um, yeah, have a great time. St- hit the like button, hit, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord, talk about this farm, other farms, this contest, whatever you like to do. And yeah, stay good, stay healthy to a good mental health. Have a great rest of the weekend. Have a great rest of the week. Uh, we'll do the daily farms. We'll see you later. And I'll see and bye-bye. <laughs>